He had left Marilyn in the coolness of the shower, dreaming of her Californian hacienda, the mirrored walls cutting her face into segments of half-opened lips smeared red. Her hair glossed blonde with dripping water, singing to herself a Sinatra melody, her voice echoing along the white marble floor, reaching out beyond the bifold doors to the potted palms that trembled in the humid air. DiMaggio was sitting on a steel mesh chair looking out over the curvature of the balcony. He was deep in thought. Of late, he had taken to slaking his smouldering brain with tequila. The salt and lemon sliced through his tongue like smooth, sharp knives, the potent spirits raking his throat with the illusion of a cleansing fire. His fist would tighten around the glass, as if to keep a firm grip on reality. The clear liquid hidden in his palm, its magic lost to him. He did not see the blaze of geraniums that had bounced off the whiteness of the walls and momentarily floated like specks of blood on the crystal clear surface of his glass of tequila. Nor had he seen the herring gull that was resting on the uprush of air that rolled up the cliffs. But he had noted the yellowness of the lemon that lay sliced on the table, and the blurred image of a Mediterranean sun that rose in the crimson of his sky as he closed his eyes. Marilyn, having left the shower, trailing a pink bath towel behind her, was shocked to see him sitting there. She could still feel the bruises on her arms as though they had been inflicted yesterday. Will you never leave me in peace, she cried. He had archived the bill of sale on his smartphone, authorising his extravagant purchase. <laughs>